Hey Budget Bestie, Sam here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things budgeting, planning, saving money, and my family's journey to financial freedom. Today I'm going to be closing out paycheck number two for the month of August, going over the second week of all of my spending, and then stuffing any of my remaining cash into my rollover savings challenge binder. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Okay, y'all. Uh, so bear with me. This is my first time filming a um, sit down, laying down all the stickers, explaining all the transactions, and kind of multitasking. So it, it might be a little rough. This is my first go around. So bear with me. I am a terrible multitasker. I'm just come out come out and say that okay i'm one of those where if i'm talking i'm either writing or typing down what i'm saying or what you're saying and then i'm like oh crap wait just kidding hold on so that's why i've never had a plan with me because i get so distracted you guys i start talking talking i'm like wait where were we what do we do i'm sure y'all have seen when i'm stuffing cash where i'm like uh did i put that in there or not hold on so that's why i'm like mm, let's see how this is gonna turn out so but yeah i just thought i'd give you all a little disclaimer there <laughs> okay so um all i'm doing is i i do my tracking electronically digitally however you want to say this every single day and so the part that's new for me is laying it out here on my calendar view i just like the idea of this i just have never done this in the past because Y'all, if I have $50 of spending money to last me two weeks and I want to get nails done, get some coffee, and get my lashes, that's not happening with having to purchase these little expense tracker um, stickers. So I am learning how to make these right now. It has not been successful. I don't know if it's because the lighting in that corner of the room is lacking, but my stickers are not coming out as they should. But you know how we do. We don't waste nothing around here. So don't come for my stickers okay it's only my um second attempt and it's it's not coming out how they should so that's why they were like half cut off so if any of my planner slash budget slash sticker making besties know what i'm doing wrong y'all want to help a sister out as you can see i've already placed all my stickers for the first week of this pay period so this will be for the 21st through the 26th and on the 21st i did get some lash glue from amazon i have a flutter habit lashes and their glue is great except it's 20 dollars and i'm like yeah again I don't want to use all my spending money on no lash glue so I went on Amazon and I purchased one of these. A lot of the reviews says that they use Floater Habit and they use that glue with them and it works great but uh I beg to differ because these are tacky. They're so thick that I feel like my lashes are all clunky clunk is that the word it's just very very thick and as soon as you get any water on them they're out whereas the flutter habit lash glue will last the full like five days and so i think i will be purchasing them from a flutter habit using my self-care envelope here next week because i this glue is just not working it's not it's not cut also you'll see a lot of my spending i you know i didn't think about this part of it a lot of my spending happens on the weekends so i'm gonna run out of room here real quick um on the 21st we got some groceries from walmart and that was 62 dollars Remember guys, I am listing all of my transactions. This is my half of everything. So no, I do not feed my family with $62. This is half, okay? Uh, and then later that same day, I went back to Amazon and I got those little planner tabs. That's not even what it's called. They're, they're these things. these things right here so that i can temporarily place a, a hold a spot on my calendar without writing it in because i have these erasable pens but i don't always have them on me and i cannot stand when i see white out on a planner i'm just weird like that so i purchased those from amazon and that was six dollars all right and then let's see i'm not gonna be able to fit i went to cvs and 
we picked up some laundry detergent and i don't remember what else but the biggest thing was the laundry detergent i'm gonna place it down here only because i know i won't be utilizing this last week here on this calendar view it's going to be on september's view but that was seven dollars goodness gracious see i'm mm, day one fail <laughs> I didn't think about this, but I use purple for all of my sinking funds transactions, but purple is how I track all of my household expenses on my digital planner. So I'll have to change one of those colors to something different. On the 21st, we did use our um, health sinking fund and that was to get my prescription refill. And that was $30. See? way too close i mean they're both at cvs but still <laughs> okay that was it for the 21st and then the 22nd was a no spend day and y'all no spend is spending out of my cash envelopes a no spend day for me does not include bills all the gray here is all of my recurring bills those don't count I ain't spending that money, that's a bill. So whenever you see these no spend, it just means I didn't spend any money. And that's how I'm gonna count those. So on the 22nd is a no spend. And then the 23rd was also a no spend. And on the 24th, I did get some gas from Maverick and that was 25. Gas has finally start to go down here on my side. I've been hearing y'all for the last like several weeks about gas going down. And I'm like, okay, when is it going to head to my side here? <laughs> I'm all bitter over here. Like, I want my gas to go down. So yeah, it's finally just now just went under $4. And I know a lot of people ar around... And I know a lot of people in other areas where it's more expensive, where it's still way up there. But y'all got to remember, I'm in Arizona. We're supposed to be, you know, like cheap-ish. But that has not been the case. That has not been the case. And then on the 24th as well, I did go to the Dollar Tree. And I got me a couple of decor thingamajiggers. And oh, and I got some vinyl because someone, one of my friends, um, she has a cricket as well and i've been getting tips and tricks from her and she was telling me that she made a water bottle for her friend's son and she used half oracle half um the dollar tree brand i don't remember what it is um part of it was the oracle part of it was from the dollar tree and she said the dollar tree was the one that lasted longer but i'm like no way so, I mean, I picked it up. Um, maybe I got a bad uh, batch because, yeah, that bad boy did not stick. It, mm, I don't know. I ain't getting that again. On the 25th is also a no spin. And then on the 26th, this is absolutely a thing for my family. But every Friday night, we eat out. Except for last Friday. Because we had a crap ton of leftovers and we ate out. Well, my boss got us um, takeout for lunch. So, I was like, hmm. Let's maybe not eat out tonight. So Friday the 26th, we went to Taco Bell, but only because Panda Express is usually where we go every Friday night. Panda Express, their indoor eating was shut down for construction and the drive through line wrapped all the way around. And I said, oh no, man, Taco Bell it is. And that was $15 Friday. Perfect. Okay, and so that's all my transactions for that week there. Perfect. Okay, all right. We're going to set this bad boy aside. And we're going to move her over. Okay, so we will start with the blue, which is our groceries. And that was the $62. That was the only um, grocery expense for that week. And we had 68 remaining from last week. So we should still have $6 remaining in that envelope. Next is the green, which is our spending. And we spent five plus six plus 15. That's $26. 
and we had 46 remaining from last week so we should still have 20 remaining in that envelope and we have gas in the yellow we spent $25 and we had 25 remaining from last week so we should have zero in that envelope and then this peach color which is eating out we spent $15 and we had 30 remaining from last week, so we should still have 15 remaining in that envelope. And then the purple, which is our household, we spent $7. And we had 10 remaining from last week. We should have $3 remaining in that envelope. Let's grab our envelope and make sure that is what we have. Okay guys, if you are new to my channel, this is my rollover saving challenge binder. Um, it's really a challenge for myself to see what I can withhold from spending or save as much as I can because anything left over from all of my cash envelopes here, I do go ahead and stuff into this binder here. This is specifically my contribution to go towards a little something, something that I'm gonna be doing for my family. Um, my husband does not watch my videos so he does not know what my plans are but the door is cracked and he is in the room so I don't want him to hear what I'm saying but just know that um, as the time gets closer to when I'm planning on utilizing these funds I will let y'all know what I'm planning to do if you're new if you if you are an OG you already know because I already told y'all what I was gonna plan on doing um, with these funds here but um, yeah so let's get into this so i have my oh my one dollars here is gonna go into here y'all can't really see her because she's normally like behind the um binders that i have up against the wall but just know she's there she's just been you know getting neglected um but uh yeah we ain't gonna neglect her no more no we're really not because we're gonna be holding ourselves accountable and do the damn thing. Perfect. Okay, and then my five dollars is gonna go in here. And then my $10 bill. My 20. And then I will go ahead and insert a snapshot. This is my credit card cash back rewards for these last couple of weeks. And so I went ahead and reduced some cash for that. And that's what this rewards here is for. Perfect. Yay. All right. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions for me. And if you enjoy the content I'm bringing to you so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time I post new videos. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.